Next on Worcester News Tonight, bracing for the storm. How Worcester's Public Works Department is getting ready for this year's first round of wintry weather. And crews battle a three-alarm apartment fire in Webster. Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Tim McCone. We begin tonight in Webster, where crews spent the afternoon fighting a three-alarm fire that sent three people to the hospital. Our Olivia Lemon has more. Flames shoot from the roof of this Granite Street apartment. Webster Fire Chief Brian Hickey says the three-alarm fire started on the first floor and the flames quickly spread. Made its way off to the front porch, made its way across the porch and along the front of the building. On the second floor of the building, there was a propane uh, tank up there that let go. Once that let go, the fire got up into the eaves and across the attic into the building. Webster police were first on scene. Lieutenant Michael Shaw says officers went into the burning apartment and helped get people out. Our officers arrived uh, on scene. They saw heavy smoke showing. They went inside. They realized there were people inside. They uh, went in, taking uh, residents out. Two officers needed treatment. Shaw says they made a heroic effort to save one woman inside. Police say she is in critical condition. In the process of doing that, they inhaled a tremendous amount of smoke, uh, which caused them to have to go up to the uh, Hubbard Regional Hospital to be treated for smoke inhalation. Chief Hickey says it's still unknown what caused the fire, but investigators were on scene throughout the day. My state police fire marshal's office is here investigating along with the Webster Police Department and one of my investigators. So we're, uh, we won't know what the uh, initial cause is until we do everybody to get everything under control here. Olivia Lemon, Worcester News Tonight. Neighbors saw the frightening scene unfold. Tonight we're hearing their first-hand accounts. Brittany Schaefer has more. Neighbors in Webster describe a frightening scene at 39 Granite Street Monday afternoon. We heard the bang and then it just engulfed it big time and it was just all red and orange and oh, it was terrible, it was terrible. When I looked out the window, I saw flames that were shooting like 10 feet high. It looked like one of the, the bottom right apartment was in flames, and very quickly the flames had spread. Neighbors watched as the first Webster police officers on scene worked to get people out of the building. And the two of them went in the building, first came out coughing and gasping. They went back in. They escorted a woman out and one of the officers was pulling another person out. Witnesses tell us it took minutes for crews to arrive, but the flames were already spreading fast. Neighbors were worried about residents and the first responders. Especially the first two officers who responded. I was very worried about their safety. I heard windows popping and actually could see them popping and it was frightening. And that was our Brittany Schaefer reporting. Well, we've gotten lucky with the weather so far this winter, but the first snow is due here in Central Mass tonight. Things are all quiet in the city right now, but crews are getting ready and a parking ban is in effect in the city. There is no parking on either side of main streets, bus routes and streets downtown. Parking is only allowed on the odd numbered side of all other streets unless marked otherwise. Our Andy Madison has a look at what people can expect tomorrow. It's a symbolic warning sign outside Abishan Hardware, and people are following it. I don't travel in this kind of weather, but I no, just want to be prepared. Shovels, salt, and roof rakes, just some of the items people are picking up ahead of Tuesday's weather. My husband's got the plow ready, the snow blower ready, and we got three new shovels. I think winter's just moving a little further back, but hopefully we don't get what we got last year. At Worcester's Department of Public Works, they're getting the sand and the salt trucks ready. And it's not the snow they're concerned about. The commute will be fairly light, and uh, so that helps. Uh, the downside is that there's talk of ice, and that's never fun. I'd rather have a plowable event than an ice event. Snow and ice is forecasted to start overnight, impacting the Tuesday morning commute. It's the first measurable snowfall of the season and will serve as a sign that winter is here. Another sign is the 30 to 40 salt and sand trucks that could be on the road Tuesday morning. We have to use more salt, more sand. Um, it can, if it's a heavy enough ice, it becomes an issue as far as wires and damage to trees. I don't think it'll be that bad. If it is, I stay home. Is it the beginning of a lot of snowfall this season? Only time will tell. Andy Madison, 
Worcester News Tonight. Well, most people are complaining about the unseasonably warm weather so far this winter, but it's led to a slow start of the year for Wachusett Mountain. Staff at the mountain tell us with the cool temperatures today, this is actually the first day they've been able to continue making snow into the afternoon. The fresh powder is a welcome sight at Wachusett. The mountain was closed on Christmas because of the warm weather for the first time in decades. We've got a number of different snow guns. Uh, we've got tower guns that are very efficient and the fan guns that you can see behind me. Uh, and basically they're just adding compressed air and water. And if it's below 32 degrees, uh, we're making snow. Hopefully everyone's coming out to try out their uh, new gear that they just got for the holidays. So, you know, this is usually the time when people really figure out that we're open and ready to go. And we just need to make sure that we match that on our end too. Police in Auburn are hoping surveillance video will help them track down two suspects in an armed robbery. Take a look. The men believed to be in their early 20s entered the Shell gas station on the corner of Route 20 and Millbury Street early Sunday morning, armed with handguns and demanded money from the clerk. They got away with an undisclosed amount of cash. No one was hurt. But if you recognize either of the suspects, you're asked to contact Auburn police. A trial date has been set for a former security guard accused of fatally shooting a Worcester maintenance man back in 2014. The trial for 54-year-old Howard Penn will begin on May 26th. Penn is accused of shooting and killing Lloyd Worcester in a rooming house where the pair both worked in January of 2014. Witnesses say the incident stemmed from an argument between the two men. It marked Worcester's first homicide of that year. The city is gearing up for first night. Preparations for the event have been underway since last January. And our Patricia Nicholas got a preview of what's in store for the big night. This room is where the magic happens. Executive Director Howard McGinn says the planning for First Night Worcester began in January. A lot of work goes into uh, an event that really is uh, just for one day, but we think it's worth it. It's a great event. People, everyone who comes, people have a great time. First Night Worcester is the oldest First Night organization in America. The festivities begin on New Year's Eve at 10 a.m. with a variety for residents to enjoy. From a tour of the Ecotarium to a psychic reading at the Courtyard by Marriott, the night will end with a bang fireworks. It's a cultural extravaganza celebration of the arts and culture throughout the city of Worcester and it's going to be it's been happening every every year on first night and we have a terrific show planned this year with 60 different performances on 15 different venues. McGinn says this year they have brought back a city favorite. Chinese acrobat Li Lu has traveled all over the world. She is just one of the many highlights McGinn says First Night Worcester will feature. Whether you come and hang out at one venue all night and just have a great time, or whether you go from venue to venue, or whether you want to ice skate, or wh whatever you want to do, there's, some, there's so much going on, you're going to have a great time. Patricia Nicholas, Worcester News Tonight. Preparations are also underway for First Night in Boston. Thousands are expected in the city to ring in the new year, and police are being extra vigilant following a phone call made today to the NYPD. Alicia Rodriguez explains. Preparations already underway to welcome hundreds of thousands of people into Boston to ring in the new year. I have been every year since I can't even remember. So yeah, I'll be out here for sure. But as the city prepares for the yearly crowd, Boston police are on alert. New York City police received an anonymous 911 call Monday, making reference to threats to Boston. Definitely aware of it. It certainly won't affect my plans for New Year's Eve. Though. Boston police and the FBI say they have no reason to believe it should affect anyone's plans. They investigated the call and say it lacks specifics and they're questioning its credibility. A statement said in part the BPD remains vigilant in their patrols throughout the city and maintains high visibility with increased resources at all large public gatherings and venues. I have trust in our federal agencies and the uh, local police. I'm not afraid. That's what the terrorists want us to be, is scared. We're going to go on and live our lives. I wouldn't let it get me down. I wouldn't let it stop me. I mean, life goes on. I don't think I'd put myself in harm's way on purpose. Um, but I don't think I will let it stop my life. But the images of the attacks in Paris and San Bernardino are still too fresh in some minds. Think twice about going anywhere. Um, I mean, I'd be cautious. I don't know whether I'd avoid it altogether, but I certainly would be looking around. 
Commuters in Massachusetts are celebrating a milestone Monday. Gas prices are below $2 a gallon. AAA survey finds self-serve regular unleaded is averaging just $1.98 a gallon in the state. That's two cents lower than last week and 48 cents lower than this time last year. Gas prices in Mass have also fallen a dime in the last